Good afternoon and welcome to Home of Headline News. I'm Heaven. And I'm Kaden. And we're your anchors for this week's broadcast. First up, of course, we have some announcements. For our sophomores, juniors, and seniors, especially juniors, if you want to prepare for SATs and collaborate with other peers, Emma B is hosting a great SAT study group. That's awesome. I could so use a study group for the SATs. When does it start and how do I sign up? I'm glad you asked. The first meeting is this Thursday, October 3rd, and sign ups are on Home Hub. If you have any questions, email Emma here. That's great. I'm sure that'll help so much. I know, right? It's awesome our peers are making opportunities for us to collaborate and make our school spirit stronger. Oh, speaking of school spirit, did you hear about Spirit Week coming up? Spirit Week? No. When is it? What are the dates? Spirit Week is coming up soon. Of course, we want to hear what you want, so scan the QR code on the left to vote for the days. Freshmen, scan the QR code on the right to vote for your class's color. It will be used as Class 2028's distinctive color. Voting ends October 4th, so get your votes in and voices heard. Awesome. It will be fun to see everyone dressing up. I agree. There is a college fair this Wednesday for Northwestern University from 4 to 4.45. Check the announcements on the College and Career Bulletin in Home Hub. Keep a lookout. Dual credit registration is coming later this week. More details to come. This Friday, October 4th, there is a college fair at the Hawaii Convention Center. Sessions are morning and evening. Email Ms. Loki here for more details. Seniors, the KLE Pauahi Foundation and the Hawaii Community Foundation have posted their application opening dates. Check the announcements for more. If you took the ASVAB, results are out. If you want to see your results, see Ms. Loki in room 22. Next up, the GSA Club is hosting a free Coraline Watch party after school today at 3.15 to 5.15 p.m. If you don't have plans and would like to kick off the spooky season with some peers, this would be a fun event to join. The Honu is still open for submissions. If anyone has any last minute pieces they would like to submit to be on our awesome school paper, deadlines are this Friday, October 4th. And last but not least, next week, October 7th till October 11th, we Honus are on fall break. Fall break already? Wow, that was quick. I wonder what everyone's fall break plans are. Me too. Well, I guess that rolls us into our h 2 h segment with Embry and Gavin. We'll get a glimpse of what people's plans are for fall break. Hi, I'm Gavin. And I'm Embry. And we're your, your host, host for this week's H2H. This week's question is, what are your plans over fall break? I'm here with... Zach. And what do you plan to do over fall break? Uh, work. Any, anything else? Nah, I'd probably just work. Sounds very exciting. Yeah, for money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you. thank you. Hi, I'm here with... Michael. And Michael, what are your plans for fall break? Uh, my plans are just to uh, hit the gym, pump some iron, and um, well, just overall enjoy my um, fall break. Hope you enjoy. Thanks, you. I'm here with Noah. And what do you plan to do over fall break? Uh, ride my dirt bike. Very interesting. Anything else? Uh, Who's broke now? Nothing. I don't know. Hang out with my dad. Family. Sounds like a good time. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Braylon and Dallas. Okay, what do you guys plan to do for fall break? I uh, plan on hanging out with Dallas. I'm gonna go with Braylon, and we're gonna go practice our uh, golfing. We got a tournament coming up. Thousand bucks on the line. Well, hopefully you guys get that. Win. Hopefully you guys win. Yep. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with the goat and the goat. What are your plans for fall break? Uh, work, 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 and get trained so I can tackle students if I need to. <laughs> Thank you. No Thank you for everyone who participated, and back to our anchors. Thank you, Amber and Gavin. Heaven, what are you doing for fall break? Um, catching up on my sleep. How about you, Kaden? Softball. Sleep. Repeat. <laughs> Anywho, let's jump into our weather report with Andrew. The weather for Hawaii this past month has been mostly warm, calm, and sunny trade wind weather with no storms impacting the islands or new storm development for the next week. 
there was a Cat 3 hurricane named John far out in the East Pacific near the coast of Mexico, but the track doesn't show any signs of it strengthening or moving towards Hawaii. For the Gulf of Mexico and Florida coast, on the other hand, there was strong Cat 3 to possibly even 4 Hurricane Helene that formed out in the Caribbean and is now headed straight for the Panhandle of Florida and Tallahassee area. And it's going to bring major impacts including up to 15 to 20 foot storm surge above ground level near coastal areas, maximum sustained winds of, of at least 120 miles per hour with gusts reaching up to 150 miles per hour, a lot of heavy rain and flash flooding, and even tornadoes or water spouts from thunderstorms on the east northeast side of the hurricane. So if you guys have any family or friends you know who live in the Tallahassee area or Florida in general, make sure they are always prepared for the worst and safe during any of the following impacts from the strong storm. That's all for this week's weather report. I'm Andrew Shady reporting for Honu Headline News and I will pass it back to our amazing anchors. Thank you, Andrew. Now let's hear about some current political news with Gavin. Oh shoot, wait, can you see the spark? Thank it's... you, Gavin. Me? Yeah. Okay. Today, we'll go over the steps to sign up to vote here in Hawaii, ensuring your voice is heard in local, state, and national elections, whether for the next local election or the 2024 presidential election. Getting registered early is key. First, you can register online by visiting the Hawaii Office of Elections website. You'll need a valid Hawaii ID or driver's license, your social security number, and proof of residency, like a utility bill or rental agreement. The process only takes a few minutes, and you'll receive confirmation when you've registered. Be sure to update your information if you ever move or change your name. If you prefer, you can register in person at your county clerk's office or even at certain polling places on election day, thanks to Hawaii's same-day registration law. Just bring the necessary documents with you. This option is great for those without easy internet access. Remember, the voting age in Hawaii is 18, but you can pre-register as early as 16. This ensures that once you turn 18, you'll be automatically eligible to vote. Pre-registering is a great way to get involved early and stay ready for future elections. Whether you register online, in person, or on election day, it only takes a few minutes to ensure you can participate in shaping Hawaii's future. Your vote matters. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Gavin. Now we have our student sport feature with Kaden. Hi, I'm here with Kylie. What sport do you play and what school do you play for? I play volleyball for Campbell High School. What's your number and position? I am number 31 and I play outside, so like all around. How long have you been playing volleyball? I've been playing since I was seven, but I started playing like competitively at 13. Why did you decide to play volleyball in the first place? My mom just wanted me to get interested in sports and I'm kind of tall, so she wanted me to do the volleyball or basketball and just liked volleyball better. How would your coaches and teammates describe you? Um, I'm a bit of a hyper person, so I can be really loud sometimes, and I have some pretty big mood swings depending on how I'm feeling that day, so it's always crazy. How does it feel to play for Campbell and go to HTA? I like it because I get like the days off so I can catch up on schoolwork because my games, I have to leave school early and they're all day, so sometimes it's really hard to do schoolwork and juggle, but it's nice to have those breaks. What is your favorite thing about playing volleyball? I think my favorite thing is the team because it's like a family and you have to trust each other. If you don't trust each other, then you're not going to work out. It's not going to be compatible at all. Do you plan on playing volleyball for college? I plan on it, just we'll see how good I get and if I can get there by my junior year because that's when recruiting starts to happen. And lastly, what is your advice to players new to volleyball? My advice is just to have fun with it because it's supposed to be fun, that's how sports are. and. If you make a mistake, just forget about it because there's always another point that you can try to do something good and better, so just forget about it. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, I put a lot of effort into that one. After all the serious news, I need a good laugh. Let's hear a joke from Mr. Wida. We are here with Mr. Wida. What is your joke of the day? Uh, what what did the horse say when he tripped and fell? Hell, hell, I can't giddy up. 
Haha, <laughs> 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 that was so <laughs> great, Mr. Wida. <laughs> Super. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week's broadcast. Ta-ta, Ta -ta, turtles. Catch, catch you later. later.